This little babe of mine, he's gonna poop his pants. No. He's gonna poop his pants 20 times in one day. Yeah. Good morning. Home vlog. Oh no, don't scratch your eye out. Home vlog. <laughs> I think that's one thing I'll never understand is why do babies just automatically reach straight for their face? As soon as they have their hands free, they're like, I'm gonna grab my eyeball out. They have no idea what they're doing. I mean, it seems like he does because he always grabs for his eyeball. I don't know. Oh, he's a tired guy. He's a little tired guy. So right now he's dealing with a little bit of baby acne, which is normal. Oh no, do you not like the camera? He's like, I don't know what to think about that thing. What is it? Yeah. Technology. <laughs> One day you'll learn yeah. all about technology. Just ima imagine the technology that he's going to have when he turns out, or when he turns out, when he turns like 16 years old, he's gonna have a flying car. I don't know. Maybe. Are we, are we gonna get him a car when he turns 16? I mean, did you have a car when you were 16? I had a car that I, that when I was 15, but I bought it myself. Oh, okay. I had a car when I was 16, but it was like an old, old, super old Honda. Oh, yeah. No, mine was a 1981 AMC Concord <laughs> with uh, cow seat covers and wood paneling, oh. station wagon style. This is my favorite car ever. It was a good car. He loves to look out the window. It's his favorite thing is to look out the window. So today, I think, don't scratch. Don't do it. Um, today, I think we're going to take him on a walk around the neighborhood. Are we going to put him in the strolly or are we going to put him in the the carrier? Um, I think we're going to put him in the stroller so we can like walk bandit and stuff too. Because I want him to be able to see. Because when, when we wear him, he can't really like see everything, you know? Okay. All right. Ooh, this is exciting. I like how bandit's just like, I'm going to look the other way. <laughs> He just wants to be like near us, but he doesn't want to be involved, you know? He uh, believes that the baby is the loud thing. <laughs> he does. It's true. Yeah, you are the loud thing, huh? You are the loud thing. That's okay. He's really like working his little hands out. I think he kind of is getting it. Like he kind of recognizes that these are his hands. There's a little sleeping boy. He looks like a little grumpy old man. I know, I love to smell his head. It's like my favorite thing to do. It smells like a baby. <laughs> Actually smells like no more tears, baby shampoo. Because <laughs> he got a bath yesterday. And then there's Bandit over there. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He doesn't like his baths, but sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. It's an interesting mix where it's like he, uh, like if I drip the water on his tummy, he loves it. But if he's like slipped too far down, he's uncomfortable. He needs to be like sitting upright more. Then he's like totally fine. But I don't know. I'm still trying to get a hang of, of washing him. He let me wash his armpits yesterday. <laughs> so he doesn't have stinky armpits anymore. So we've had a bit of a morning where out of nowhere, Jackson's like, let's try it. Let's try breastfeeding. He totally breastfed for like, I don't know, a good 10 minutes on each side. Yeah. And then he just did it again. For like five minutes. Yeah. Then he fell asleep. He's awake now, but he's trying. Yeah. I don't which know. is good, but bad at the same time because you've been pumping. And so now everything's sore. Yeah. And like it hurts. I have ice packs on right now, but I can't believe that he did it. And he like, we were talking to people that said, I tried and he didn't like mine didn't latch for four weeks or yeah. mine didn't latch for this many weeks and I was like there's just no way that he's gonna latch I just yeah. really I just felt like he was never gonna do it and he totally did it today yeah but it was like a whole process where like I had to hold him and like he would try and then he would cry and then I'd pick him up and I'd soothe him mm -hmm. and then I would put him back on and he would like not do it mm -hmm. and then finally he just well, did it we gave him a little bit of the breast milk in a bottle to get him kind of like going yeah and then we put him on and he latched yeah and it was just like i don't know it's so crazy that he finally did it yeah so it thinks that it's a process <laughs> but it's yeah. good no it's really good yeah it was just it's like an emotional thing because it's 
we've been trying and trying and trying and i just felt so like defeated yeah and then he finally did it yeah hopefully we can continue to do that throughout the day it is hard though it's definitely hard so i think today obviously we're gonna do a home vlog today but i just i feel like on days like today you can't really do anything else Mm -hmm. but keep trying the breastfeeding yeah and so you really like i don't know how people do this i don't know yeah this is just like really intense i don't know how people do it alone like i'm we're very very fortunate that i'm able to stay home today and like yeah help you well and it's just like i i literally couldn't do it by myself because i need like four hands yeah and so it's just i don't understand how people do this right and (laughs) i'm gonna i'm gonna like stop you guys right there because i know you guys are gonna be like you need to get the boppy because that'll help you out so much we have the boppy but i think for right now it needs to be like just four hands doing it yeah that's like advanced technique is the boppy i think (laughs) i think so so and he's uh he's waking up right now but i don't know i just feel like i'm so excited that it finally worked hopefully it continues to work i think it will i think if we continue to do this it will we just have to keep trying and a lot of you guys were like don't stop trying don't stop trying and you were right so i'm glad that we or I don't know. I'm just glad. It, like I feel I'm so tired too. It was such like an emotionally draining thing, um, because he would get upset and then, like it hurts really bad right now while he's doing it, and I'm just really tired. But I'm happy. I'm happy that he did it. Yeah. Still not sure if he likes this Mamaru thing. He sort of seems like he does sometimes. Not right now. Not right this second. <coughs> All right, we've done it. We have fed him now twice. Right? I think it's been more than that. Like three times? Yeah. He's done it. Yeah. He's like, he's breastfeeding now. Yeah. It just took a little bit of, here's the little secret that we did is we, you take a little tiny bit of formula in the bottle or, or a breast milk yeah, if you have any. Some kind of milk. Some kind of milk. And you let him like eat it, like suck from it like three times. Like, and then you take it out and then you quick move him over to the, to the breast and then he starts eating. Yeah. And we've been using the boppy and it's been... Like, eas- easier, kind oh, of. Oh, no. He's upsetting now. I know. What the heck? <laughs> but <laughs> he just fed for... I wasn't timing it. It was either 15 or 18 minutes. Which is good. Yeah. So, we're going to take them both for a walk. We're going to take Bandit and him for a walk. This is actually the first time that he will have gone, like, out in a stroller. Yeah. So... I've taken him outside just, like, holding him, like, for just a few minutes. Yeah, but this is exciting. But, so yeah. hopefully he likes it. I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't cry the whole time. <laughs> I know. We'll see. You're doing it. You're not like, are you eating something, Bandit? Don't eat something. <laughs> You're not like crying like we thought you were going to. It's I'm so a, excited. Yeah, this is the thing that we're doing right now. This is like the first time I've been outside since I got back from the hospital. Yeah. So I feel like this is a really big accomplishment and I'm very happy to be out here. We're doing it. Yeah, I think we should try to do this every night. Heck yeah. He looks it. You're doing good too, Bandit. Kind of. <laughs> I think he is. I'm so excited though. This is awesome. Yeah, getting some fresh air. Yeah. And when it, it's not sunny right now because it's been raining all day, but if it weren't, like if it were sunny, we've got a cover for this. There's another like thing that can cover over this entire section here. He can be well protected. Yeah. So it's actually the next morning. <laughs> we spent the rest of the night trying to breastfeed, which actually we were somewhat successful. Yeah, it was hard, but we did it like we were able to accomplish at least like a good like right just what maybe five minutes ago we did like 25 minutes yeah so i think we're doing it i think we are doing it it was difficult because he was like fighting it yeah but once we like figured out that somewhat of a rhythm like you put the bottle in let him suck a little bit while he still got milk in his mouth then you put him on Mm -hmm. and then he like will latch will latch yeah so i'm sorry it's still very early in the morning. I don't know if I'm pointing the camera in the right direction. Yeah, it's what, seven? It's like seven o'clock right now. Yeah. So, but we were able to get a stretch of like four hours of sleep. Yeah. And then we were able to get a stretch of like three hours of sleep. Yeah. So I think this is hopefully going to be like a good schedule. Yeah. Pa- I don't know. I know you guys said our schedule is going to change as soon as we get a schedule. So hopefully this is going to be good for a little bit. Right. So we want to go over our like morning routine with you. Yeah. So like right now we're, we just came downstairs. I have to take Bandit out, and then we have to start like making our breakfast and everything. Starting our day. Starting the day, and yeah. now he's awake again. Amazon really out here trying to make sure that everybody's got their Christmas gifts for Christmas. Uh, this morning, they delivered our diet like our baby wipes at 6:30 in the morning. They did. 
Yeah, and I ordered them last night. <laughs> like, holy cow. Doing doing the real work. Merry Christmas. Merry diaper wipes. All right, the very first thing we have to do is it's time to make the coffee. I actually switched to decaf, so we've been drinking decaf coffee. I did it a long time ago. I switched to decaf when I went to D23. And we'll put a link to that video in the description down below so you guys can see what it looked like when I switched to decaf. So our morning routine actually changed this morning because we've been trying this new feeding that we've been doing. Uh, so normally what would happen is I would come downstairs with the baby who is either asleep or I would wear him in like the, the carrier and Jen would be upstairs pumping one next bottle. But this morning we were both up first thing feeding. So it's totally different now. And so Jen is over watching the baby while he's just kind of like cooing actually right now, which is really fun. And I'm going to make breakfast. What I normally do is I make Jen a nice healthy breakfast of oatmeal and fruit and an English muffin. And then I make myself an extremely unhealthy breakfast of Jimmy Dean sausage sandwiches. It's just the way it is. I would normally I would eat a less healthy breakfast because it's quicker for me to do that while I'm also like carrying the baby. And then once Jen comes downstairs, I can make the oatmeal for her and I can take my time. But kind of got addicted to the uh, the sausage sandwiches because they're delish. Also, our friends over at Universal sent over some mugs for us. This is now my new favorite mug because. That's Jackson, and that's Bandit, and I'm the father of all the things. Yes, that's me. I'm the cat in the hat. Wait, was the cat in the hat thing one and thing two's dad? I don't uh, Something's not adding up here. I feel like we have the Mamaru, and I think that he likes it sometimes. I can never get him to like it. Every time I try to put him in there, he hates it. Well, he doesn't... He doesn't hate it right away. He, like, hates it after, like, five minutes. He's like, get me out of this thing. He just loves the window. I mean, me too. All right, so you're gonna take care of him for a second so I can eat my breakfast. And you just had your breakfast. Yeah. How was it? It was unhealthy. <laughs> oh no. But good. But there's the little baby Jackson. Jack, He's Jack, doing Jack. some bicycle legs so he Jack, can get Jack, his little Jack. toots out of his butt. He was a little tooty this morning. There's Bandit. I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing over there, buddy? Hey. Just trying to hide the whole thing. <laughs> oh no. Okay, here you go. Is that better? Alright. But this is our morning. It's not very eventful, but I don't know, it's exciting for us. So now it's breakfast time for me. I got my oatmeal with my fruit. It's blackberries and blueberries and strawberry oatmeal. It's delicious. And I got my English muffin and a little coffee. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do this morning. Did you tell him your coffee is almond milk? Oh yeah, I haven't been doing dairy. So it's almond milk because a lot of you guys have been telling me that he could be gassy because of the foods that I'm eating, which would be dairy. Um, like tomatoes, I think was one of them you guys said. Yeah. Broccoli was another one. So we're doing, um, I haven't really been doing dairy uh, other than cheese. We've been eating some cheese lately though, but I'm doing almond milk instead of regular milk. So hopefully that'll help. However, He's still a little tooty butt boy, so I don't know if it's really helping. So we wanted to answer a few questions from the last video where we were saying we were having trouble with him latching. Oh yeah. People were saying that they think maybe he's tongue-tied. I forgot to mention, but they did check him for tongue-tie at the hospital, like right after he was born. Yeah. And then the lactation consultant also checked him for tongue-tie. And he's totally fine, but nobody checked him for a lip tie. Right. So. Well, maybe somebody did. We just didn't ask. I, well, I feel like they would have mentioned it. Right. I don't know. I feel like because he's latching okay now, he probably doesn't have a lip tie, but I'm going to have the doctor check the next visit that we have, which right. is um, in a couple weeks. Is it? Yeah, he's, he's two months, right? Yeah, that's not in a couple of weeks. Well, <laughs> his next doctor visit. A little while. Yeah. But right now I'm going to take you guys upstairs because I wanted to show you guys something. All right, so we are in the baby's room and I wanted to kind of show you guys all the stuff I have to bring upstairs and downstairs every morning. So that's all my pump stuff and I have just put it in this bag and bring it upstairs every night and then I bring it back downstairs every morning. And I know you guys are probably like, well, wait, you're breastfeeding now. So why do you need the pump stuff? So the reason why I'm still using the breast pump, even though the breastfeeding started to kind of like take off for us, is that he's only really feeding on one side and then he gets like super tired and ends up falling asleep. And so I have to pump the other side or else I'll become engorged. So 
that's what I'm doing. I'm just pumping one side and he's feeding on the other side. And then I just kind of flip flop um, during the next feeding. So I'm still using the pump, but for a very short period of time, just to kind of like get some of the pressure out. All right, so here is my bag of stuff that I bring down every morning. It's got my little drink thing. It also has this little thing of formula because we're still using that sometimes if I don't, um, if I can't pump in time. And all my flanges, my little, these are like little ice packs for my boobs, which some of you guys were like, you need to get these. And we already had them. So um, I'm glad that we got them. They work really, really well, especially when you're like super sore. And then all of my like bottle stuff, I need to actually take these down so I can sanitize them. That's why I brought everything downstairs. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, cause we got so many comments about nipple shields. Um, we have a bunch of them actually, and we tried them and they just didn't work out for me. So these are a couple that we have that are from Hakka, I think. And we, we definitely tried every single option. So these did not work for me, however, um, like the reviews, they work for a lot of different people, just not for me. And then we have another one somewhere that's like a smaller version. I thought it was in here. I don't know, I couldn't find it. Hold on. Yeah, we'll show you guys what it is though. Also, um, everything's still a mess. We didn't get a chance to clean anything up yet. <laughs> so uh, there's that. We also bought a bunch of different size flanges that are back there, which a lot of you guys were like, maybe your flange is the wrong size. So we've definitely been trying everything as far as like trying to pump successfully and trying to feed successfully. So we really appreciate all of your guys' suggestions and we've, most of them we had already been doing. We just didn't get a chance to show you guys, but we definitely appreciate it a ton. These are the other shields that we have. There's three of them in there. We got one from the hospital and then I bought two more because they were sort of working at the hospital. And then it turned out that they didn't work at all. So I would call that a very successful like parenting day for us. Yeah, it might not be a successful vlogging day because we were doing so much stuff kind of like behind the scenes of the vlog. Yeah. But I'm so happy that he's finally breastfeeding. He's doing it. Well, and we were talking to, I don't know if I mentioned this in another video or not, but we were talking to a few people that said it literally took them four weeks to get their kid to latch properly and to actually start feeding. Yeah. And I just thought like, that's not going to happen for us. Like we're not, it's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And it did, it took three and a half weeks. Yeah. So, and I'll tell you guys this, and I don't know if this is information that like will work for everybody, but it did work for us. And I think that it might work for a few other people what? is try the, if somebody says like, you need to supplement with a bottle cause he's not latching, mm -hmm. you need to start with the bottle, get him like, get that sucking action going like mm -hmm. three sucks and then take it out of his mouth right away onto the breast. Yeah, it really did. It worked for us almost immediately. Yeah. And he's been successfully feeding the entire like all night last night i mm -hmm. think we did one bottle feed last night yeah because he he was still like kind of like upset -y. yeah so we didn't want him to just like he was really crying so yeah. we didn't want to like really upset him so but every other feed we did that method and it worked and like you said it may not work for everybody but if you haven't tried it and you're having the same problem that we're having maybe give it a try yeah because it really worked like Literally, you were on the phone, so we were getting, like, insurance stuff taken care of because the baby now needs insurance because he's, like, a human in the world. Right. And so um, he was doing, like, insurance stuff on the phone, and I had to kind of do everything myself, which I hadn't done yet because mm -hmm. I, I feel like I need four hands. But I was able to do it by myself, and he – it was almost immediate. Like, he, he ate from the bottle for, like, three sucks, and then he immediately jumped on the boob. Yeah. And I know that I said like the boppy wasn't wasn't working out for us so far, but it has like it, overnight. It really did. And I think we were maybe just not utilizing it like properly. Right. Maybe. I don't know. It took a minute to get the position down. Right. But just keep trying. Like if yeah. you're having the same problem we're having, just keep trying if you want. If you don't want to, that's cool too. Like I totally get it. Yeah. I was on the verge of that because it was so... Difficult. Yeah. I was just so like defeated. I just felt defeated. Yeah. And so I'm glad that we kind of kept at it. Yeah. But... So I don't know. Hopefully some of this will help you. And if not, hopefully this vlog was a little bit entertaining. <laughs> I don't know. I felt, I feel good about the vlog because I feel like we accomplished something personally. Yeah, no, this so. was a good, a really good like milestone day for us yeah. and, and for Jackson. Yeah. So, and he's asleep now and he's like getting a lot of sleep. He got seven hours of sleep last night, not at once, but like collectively. Yeah. 
So. So I feel like he's doing better because he's like working so hard to get the milk. Yeah. So he's like wearing himself out, which is good. I'm just so happy. This is a happy day. Yeah. <laughs> so all in all, fantastic day. Yeah. And with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.